can't bloody keep up, mate. Oh, Fabrizio Romano is starting to sound like a bloody Super Mario soundboard, man. Here do we go. Here do we go. Here do we go. <laughs> Hey, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you lot are all doing well today, man. I really do hope that. Welcome back to Chelsea News, the daily series here on Football Therapy, where I consolidate what's being said in the headlines around football news media, present it to you guys in a package, giving you my opinion, but hey, more importantly, asking for yours. Yes, the mustache is officially a thing. Chelsea are making moves in the market, man. Ooh. Ziyech, Werner, Javier Umbiamba, Thiago Silva, Milan Saar, uh, Ben Chilwell as well, Lionel Messi, uh, <laughs> only joking. Football is mad, man. Before we talk about Chelsea, football is mad. Things are moving a thousand miles an hour. This incredible story, sensational story of Harry Maguire found guilty of crimes away in Greece. Lionel Messi seemingly trying to push himself out of Barcelona. Incredible scenes. If you want to hear me talk about all these mental football related stories, then you should go and subscribe to my second channel, Jan's Yard, where I do a live football streaming show called Chatting Balls. I stream every single day on there and talk to you guys about football, of course, mainly Chelsea Football Club. We talk about other football related topics. It's nearly on 10,000 subscribers and with your help, you, the viewer, we can make that final push past 10K and my passion project can reach new heights. I'll leave a link in the top of the description. Please do consider going to subscribe to Jan's Yard to hang out with me on the Chatting Balls show. It's loads of fun. I want to see you there. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, Football Therapy, what are you doing, man? Please do consider doing so. And if you want to help me out, do click the like button. Thank you, mate. All right, let's get into it. So yeah, a thousand things happening at a thousand miles an hour at Stamford Bridge and indeed at Cobham. First off, a shout out to Mateo Kovacic. The Croatian maestro has been named Chelsea's player of the season. Deservedly so, I'd say people have given shouts for Mason Mount and of course Christian Pulisic, who's looked absolutely lethal. But, you know, Mason Mount was learning on the job. He's probably should be more of a young player of the year if we still had that. And Pulisic was injured for a lot of the season. Kovacic plays incredibly well. He's looked the most silky and accomplished when on the pitch. Against Bayern Munich, he was our only functioning footballer on the field. And I was saying he was my player of the season prior to the announcements. I think it's well deserved. So, congratulations, Matteo. Big up yourself, mate. Thank you for an excellent service. Hopefully we move and you can pocket a few more goals moving forwards. All right, let's talk about transfers. First off, Ben Chilwell, a.k.a. Chili B. Apparently, reportedly, the announcement could be made today. There were headlines saying recently that the deal could come under threat in relation to his heel injury. But generally, the consensus then transformed and developed to Chelsea. Chelsea are going to sign this player regardless. He's a long-term target. They're very interested. They're not buying Ben Chilwell for next season or the first couple of weeks of next season that he could be out for. They're buying him for years and years to come. So very, very exciting to hear that actually Ben Chilwell could be announced today. Although every time we think an announcement's imminent, often it takes a lot longer. Still, it would be very, very exciting if we do get a Ben Chilwell announcement from the club. People are still speculating that Chelsea are looking to do some sort of triple announcement or wait, you know, for something a little bit more grand, but I don't think they will. I think as soon as they're comfortable to do so and Ben Chilwell bowls up to Cobham, which could indeed be imminent, we could get an announcement for the signing, which would cost Chelsea around 45 million to 50 million, which of course, in the context of things is ultimately a very good deal seeing as they wanted 85 80 million pounds originally Marina Granovskaya does it again speaking of imminent signings it's reported that Thiago Silva could do his medical at Chelsea as soon as tomorrow Woo, tomorrow man things are moving hard and fast like a freight train the more I've reflected on the Thiago Silva situation, the more I'm into it, man. People are debating on whether he'd be given the captaincy, which I'll understand why perhaps they'd speculate that natural leader, but I don't think he will. I think Cesar Azpilicueta will rightfully keep his captaincy. And Thiago Silva won't be given the pressure of having to just come into a new club immediately and wear the armband. 
perhaps feeling like he's not deserved it. Thiago Silva will be a leader regardless. He's going to organise and he's going to teach the youngsters how to defend like an old school and elite defender. That's the important thing. That's what Frank Lampard wants. Let's get this right. I don't think 36-year-old Thiago Silva is going to play 60 games in English football this coming season. No, no, no. I think he's going to play a lot of games, but more importantly, I think his presence on the training pitch and his presence on the pitch when indeed he is playing is going to be the huge factor of ascending the level of his fellow defenders around him and for a year maybe two a hundred K a week that is absolutely good value for money from Chelsea Football Club's perspective and probably from Frank Lampard's perspective he will very much enjoy that so medical tomorrow that will be great I was listening to Andy Brassel talk about Thiago Silva and he was talking about how he will ascend the level of Chelsea centre-halves he said he's an absolute workhorse and Thiago Silva himself actually feels like he could play at the top level for another three or four years going to 30 40. I think that's a little bit ambitious, but perhaps he's just saying that. But perhaps one, two years, he could perform rather well in the Premier League. He still does look like a magnificent defender. Of course, he captained PSG all the way to the Champions League final, and he pretty much held off the best attack in Europe pretty darn well, except for one header from Kingsley Coman. I also expressed a concern about his lack of pace, but I was quickly reminded in the comments section over on Chatting Balls that Lewis Dunk also has a lack of pace. Fair enough, you got me there. But like I said, it's about his organisational skills, positioning and experience. That's what Chelsea are buying. So let's hope t tomorrow there's a Thiago Silva medical. Exciting times. As I cast out my rod into the abyss of the internet and social media, we've got ourselves another. Here we go. Fabrizio Romano gave us one in relation to Malang Saar, the left-footed 21-year-old centre-half from France. Looks like a very good player, people are torn on what's happening, but generally this looks more like a, a Chelsea signing to generate revenue and nurture a talent. Big Fabrizio Romano had this to say in his tweet. Chelsea have decided to sign Malang Saar as a free agent. Total agreement reached until June 2025. The club will now consider with Lampard to loan him out, brackets, many requests from Bundesliga clubs, and brackets. Malang Saar will sign his contract on the next hours with Chelsea in London. He turned down bids from Italy also, so he could have a talk with Lampard in the last hours. Here we go! <coughs> Here we go! Interesting how he turned down Serie A clubs where he'd probably go to play and start in their team, and he'd prefer to sign with Chelsea just to go out on loan. He must believe in the project, believe in the Chelsea system that would look after him, and perhaps also back himself to come back and even play in this Chelsea team. Like previously discussed before, Chelsea have a bunch of good youth centre-halves, they've got a bunch of good centre-halves generally, and they've got four decent ones actually on the current roster that Thiago Silva might make better. Who knows, Vicario Tomori might go on loan to League 1. By the way, his amazing goal won goal of the season against Wolves, understandably, and deservedly. And it's probably worth mentioning at this point, another deserved winner was young Billy Gilmore for Academy Player of the Year. Those high profile man of the match awards he won it definitely saw through, definitely saw through that, in my opinion. Amazing performances, the, the kid deserves it. So there you have it, Malang Sars over the line as well. Here we go, we're getting them left, right, and center. That would be with uh, Thiago Silva as well. That's already an incredibly uh, impressive transfer window. We are, of course, waiting for the Kai Havertz news. We have four days left now or something like that in terms of the proposed deadline for Kai Havertz. But, you know, I'm sure more news will break today. I'll try and make a video if it does so I can give you guys, you know, as quick updates as possible. It's a very, very exciting time to be a Chelsea fan. Lots going on. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you've not yet done so to keep up with all these updates. Or <laughs> very, very important, man. You've got to have the bell notifications icon clicked so you get the updates if you've enjoyed the content and if you generally enjoy the content please drop a like and i do want to plug my live show chatting balls because it gives you guys an opportunity to talk to me about football generally whether it's chelsea whether it's harry Maguire's story Lionel messi leaving barcelona all very exciting stuff it's a lot of fun i ended up playing guitar yesterday and singing songs it was a right laugh so do go subscribe to yan's yard to check out chatting balls the link is in the top of the description other than that, boys and girls, I'm out, so keep it locked to football therapy, enjoy the football, and I'll see you later. Soon, probably.
with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me be 